Welcome to this Excel stat short video on how to run a multiple linear regression in Excel stat. Go to the menu Modeling Data and select the option Linear Regression. A dialog box opens. In this dialog box, you first need to select the dependent variable weight, which is in the column D. Then, Determine the quantitative explanatory variables, age and height, which are in the columns B and C. The selections contain the name of the variables, so we have to enable the option Variable Labels. We don't have proper observation labels in this example, so we leave this option unselected. No weights are added either. We can now decide the location of the analytical results. We choose to have them in a new sheet. In the tab options, you have the opportunity to add some characteristics to the regression. For example, you could fix the intercept or add interaction factors. Also, it is possible to set up a selection of the variables to be included in the model. We can now move on to the tab validation. If we add a validation set, we could have enabled the validation and selected the corresponding validation set. We don't have a validation set defined in this example, so we go to the next tab, Prediction. In this tab, you can specify new samples to be predicted. As we don't have any new samples to predict, we move on to the Missing Data tab. Here, we leave the default option Remove the observations activated. In the Outputs tab, which is used to select the results to be computed, you need to add the Type 1 and 3 sum of square option. In the last tab, Chart, we decide to have all the options enabled. We can now click on the OK button. In the Selection window, we can check that we have 237 samples and one variable to explain with two explanatory variables. We can then click on continue. The results are displayed in a new sheet. The first table presents the summary statistics. Then comes the correlation matrix. We can observe that the weight is very correlated with both the explanatory variables age and height. In addition, age and height are quite correlated as well, with a correlation of 0 0.65. The tolerance which expresses the variance which is not explained by the other variable is about 0 0.6, which means that a lot of information in age is redundant with the information in height. The table showing the goodness of fit statistics shows that the R square is about 0 0.63, which indicates that 63% of the variance in the weight is explained by the two variables. Also, the root mean square error indicates that the expected error on the weight, if we were using this model to predict it, would be 11.9 pounds. Then we can look into the analysis of variance. The model is validated as the p-value is inferior to 0 0.05. Also, both variables have a significant effect, as can be seen in both sum of squares analysis table. The model parameters table gives the value of the coefficients and then the equation of the model. The following graphic presents the coefficients and their confidence intervals. The next table gives the results for each sample on the actual and predicted weights, as well as information on the residuals. The last three plots assess the quality of the regression by looking at the residuals. We can detect a slight trend in the plot weight against standardized residuals which shows that the bigger the weight, the bigger the error. 
The next chart shows the predicted weight against the standardized residuals. There is no trend in this plot. The predicted weight versus weight plot shows that there are larger errors of prediction for higher weights. The last plot shows the standardized residuals for each observation. The positive residuals are more important. This shows that the patients tend to have a higher weight than what is predicted. Thank you for watching this Excel Stat video.